everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. Yes, this is your Excel Guru. Uh, back with a new feature. Uh, this would be Series 3 for Excel uh, Conditional Formatting feature. I have already covered highlighting cell rules, top and bottom rules. And now I would be com covering data bars, color scales, and icon sets. Yes, that is data bars, color scales, and icon sets. Uh, just for the people who have uh, joined now, uh, on the series uh, conditional formatting is a feature in Excel which allows you to arrange your data visually so that you can draw inferences out of it just by looking at it as simple as that uh, just for example if you want to f uh, highlight a, a, s a value in a range which is the lowest value then you can simply choose conditional formatting and it would automatically do that for the lowest value in that range for example 25 over here happens to be the lowest value that is how it can be done uh, my two other previous series on this would be a great help on on for you to cover that part this is series 3 and let me begin with data bars so while we are uh, whenever we need to do conditional formatting we have to ensure we first of all select the range so I have selected the range over here and now I click on the first of all home tab then I go to conditional formatting then I go to data bars now what does data bars do see uh, data bars uh, it, it uh, as it says view a colored data bar in the cell the length of the data bar represents the value in the cell the longer bar a longer bar represents a higher value simply if you see if I click over here the numbers which are higher ha are having a data bar which is thicker and longer so you can arrange your data visibly over here see isn't it cool a good feature to have now you can choose other colors a green color a red color purple a blue orange either one say a cool feature it can help you in organizing your data in a proper manner and then we'll move I'll, I'll also sh I'll show you how to remove color coding or conditional formatting select the area clear rules clear from the selected cells or what happened clear from the selected cells that is what I did now again another one color scales all right now this is a, a some something something difference uh, what it does is he based on the on your data it would kind of grade your numbers the higher numbers would be having a darker theme and the lower numbers would have a uh, it's very difficult to define uh, what uh, color see uh, the higher numbers are moving towards greenish and the lower numbers are moving towards uh, reddish and all so that is how it is but I, I don't find it very relevant while I use it frankly speaking say it's very difficult to draw inference I'll just show it to you maybe some of you can post a feedback to me uh, what I like is this one this is more understandable see uh, I'll show a three arrow colored I'll click on this now uh, what Excel does is what I have uh, what I have observed it takes out the median that is the average of this range and then based on that it gives you these area it is these arrows below average high average that is how it shows so this is uh, something cool so you can choose multiple colors or multiple signs you can have say these things with you uh, flags we can remove this color coding and we'll check out the flags also clear rules from selected cells now see flags <coughs> excuse me these are stop lights <laughs> nice feature cool and this is how it works I find these more relevant rather than the color scales so this ex uh, worksheet that you're looking at is available on my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com 
you can go over there and download this uh, website this training book for free and this video is uploaded on my website on my YouTube channel this is my website click on training files and download the file and if you like what I'm doing do do follow me on Twitter and do like us on Facebook and on YouTube this is my channel just click on subscribe sign in or sign up and you will be able to know whenever I find I upload a new video or if you want to find me on YouTube that's the easiest way around and you can add a comment over here if you want like to add a comment or like us so this is your Excel guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy Excel learning